What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be working on the RB20 DET. I'm going to be stripping a couple of things off. We're going to probably film this video over like two or three days, uh, but for, for today, because I'm limited with time, I'm going to start working on, on the tire until I get my rotisserie here. Um, I'm going to do some basic stuff. So I want to pull the turbo assembly off for now, and then uh, perhaps you'll see a little bit more in this video. So this is actually loose. I kind of just put that back on there. So it looked cooler when I was taking photos. Uh, this whole ornament thing is also loose. Obviously, we don't need that now. Missing spark plugs. Like I said in the previous video, I do need to get some new, new plugs for this bad boy. But I'll just throw the old ones in here or perhaps buy another six. I'm not sure yet. Change of plans. I'm going to take out this useless aircon thing because this getting in my way and I do not want an aircon on whatever build I do here. Okay, maybe it's not leaning on it. Leaning on that. Looks pretty much the same as the one on the RB26. I should probably keep this. You guys might find it hard to believe, but I actually have air conditioning on my R32 GTR. And it's strong. It works really, really well. Um, so I'm probably going to keep that AC pump. You never know. These pops, I don't know, I'll keep them maybe just in case something happens to mine. So this is power steering. I'm definitely gonna be keeping that guy. What else is on here? We've got oh, look at my Ken blocks. Super old, first edition. Alternator still looks like it's in good nick. It's a uh, 23100. 23100. Is that the same as what's on my. Mm, nope. Alright, next. I'm going to get this power steering pump off. Give us some ease of access. Alright, from what it looks like to pull this off, you've got a bolt over there, bolt over there, one over there. It's just those three from what I can see. And this looks like a tensioning bolt. It's pretty simple. Let's get it off. Alright, just a little summing summing. Uh, I am by no means a mechanic. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm learning. This is all new to me. I mean, I've pulled stuff apart and whatnot, but never done any block work. Never pulled the engine apart, and I'm going to figure that all out today. can actually, there's a bolt in the front here, that actually looks like it's holding the power steering pump on, and not that cradle mount that I just showed you guys with the three, the three bolts, yeah, look at that, must be one at the bottom, yeah. That looks better. Thought so. Thought it would just come loose together. Okay. Let's recap. We've got two bolts in the front here. 
uh, 12 millimeter socket I'll take that out and then there's that one that was holding it up here through through here so you've got to line the pulley and then unbolt it and that gets your power steering pump out pretty simple it'll be a lot more difficult to work on when the engine's in the car but I got it out and now I'm going to just keep all the bolts for specific items in one place and then I'm going to bag and tag so two 12 millimeter this one's a 14 long I think you call it stud no I don't know bolt yeah there you go I did loosen two of these Ooh, we got a lot in here Only pull off what I need for now. Like I said, piece by piece. By piece. Let's start pulling off the turbo end. It's maybe a little bit boring for some. This is obviously baby work for a lot of people, but I'm learning and I want to know where everything goes. This whole turbo setup couldn't give a shit about. Um, I don't really need to document it. I'm just going to rip it off and I'm going to go for a nice top mount manifold and then turbo. I have no idea. My buddy Jono is selling a T3 T4 reasonable price uh, AR 0.48 and then 0.50 on the exhaust side. I mean, it's, a, it's a good price. I just don't know if that's what I want to go go for. I was thinking maybe of going for like one of those Mamba turbos, TDO5, 18G. I think anything bigger than that, you're just going to have a lag monster and you're going to stop enjoying the car. Furthermore, I don't know what cars is actually going into. I haven't bought the car yet. Doing things backwards here. Because I'm learning. come out until you probably get this guy out. There we go. Full of gasket maker. Missing the stock gasket. Yeah, I'm sure it did the job. Now I can get to the heat shield. There we go. That's piss easy. Got a nice crack on it. Now this is what the stock manifold stock turbo system looks like. Cute little guy. <laughs> Quite a big actuator. I believe these actuators hold a lot more pressure than the RB25 on it. It's a common um, trait to actually take this one off and then uh, run it on the RB25 turbos, which I don't actually know which one. I think it's a T25. Some discoloration on here, so there, there's been quite a bit of heat. You all know why. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rip out this whole turbo assembly try to do it in one go so there's two bolts there and so on and so forth I'm gonna battle to get to the back but uh, let's see what we can do hmm question is how am I gonna get to that one I'm gonna need one of those bendy socket things Oh, uh, it's not so bad. It's down at the bottom here. So the others have been like in line. This one's been like, it's right at the bottom. So they actually designed it probably to do that so you can take it off easier. 
Oh no, I'm just being an asshole. Here's the bolt, there's the other bolt. You can get to it from here, I just need to pull this thing off the actuator. Someone told me, once you build an engine, you don't even want to do it again. Because apparently it's really addictive. I mean, I love stripping shit, so I'm already in my, ow, I'm already in my element, just taking this apart. Yeah, that wasn't tight at all. I'm, I'm sure this has come off already. What I'm going to do, just for ease of access, I probably should have done this earlier, is this looks like a T4 mount. We'll find out, we'll find out in a moment. I'll throw a spanner on the top. Please excuse my tools, they're so primitive. I could have seen there was a 14. Must be 16. So these are the top here, these are 17s. I'm gonna need to open my 17 for that one. All right, um, I've got a oil return down here and I've got a, the oil feed at the top. Both are 17s, let's pop that off. I don't know if this has been drained. Let's get my old oil rag here. I doubt it's been drained. Fucking birds are back. It's called Hardy Dars in South Africa. If you're watching and you're not from here. This is a much nicer setup than the than the RX7. Um, with the twin turbos. It's such a boy to get to the twin turbo manifold. And this is cool. This is nice and easy. But again, I'm doing this out of the car. So I'm saying stuff that I actually don't know. Because I've only done the FD while it's in the engine bay. So I just got these four bolts on what looks like a T4. Could be a T3. I'll look in a sec. Here we go. One, two, three. I think it's T3. Tiny little guy. Nice. Now that that's off. I know this is probably annoying. I'm, I'm literally just talking through this whole thing and it's just easy stuff. But like I said earlier, I'm documenting for myself. One of the few YouTube videos that I'm kind of making for myself. And I hope it does help somebody else. Probably not. But I can imagine how shit of a job this must be while it's still in the bay.
I'm so shocked. I, th I really thought I'm gonna have to spray this thing to shit with Q20, tool in a can, you know, all that stuff. I probably should. Damn it, let me just do it. I'm talking about it. Let me do it just in case I snap a bolt. With my luck, I've just mentioned it, I'm gonna snap a bolt. I'm gonna go with something different. I'm gonna go with some Lucen LN04. Uh, which one is that one? So large, crazy. <laughs> Bit of an awkward shape there. Can't get my can't get my sucker in there properly. Just really do this by hand. So it's the one right under the opening. Come back to it. Gasket. I wonder if there was a leak there. Thing now it's just stuck on with, from what I see here, a lot of gasket maker. That's nasty. See if I can pry it from the bottom, maybe. See what I mean about having the wrong tools? I'm using <laughs> what do you what do you even call this thing? I know the name. Um, grinding bar thing. Yeah. Oops. Oh, the leash is off. Yep. So it's got individual gaskets, and there's a fuck ton of gasket maker. He's all broken. And Cocked up. Oh, well, this is probably the worst thing I've seen on this engine so far. It's definitely not that bad. Okay, cool. I guess that's it for this video. This will be part one. I've got like 30 odd minutes till I gotta call it and go back in the house, but um, looking good so far, at least the side is done. The next plan is to pull off the whole intake um, intake manifold and all that and then start working my way down, uh, pull off the front, pull the pulleys off. Um, so I'm going to stop here because I want to document and I mean this sort of stuff I'm tossing, the turbo I'm tossing, um, actually not much to document, I just need to pack away the power steering pump plus the bolts. Um, these obviously when I put a bigger turbo and new turbo on all these uh, banjo fittings and 
hoses are all going to change, my oil return is going to change, but I'll keep the stock pup. You never know. Might be able to do something with the fitting. Either way, I'm going to clean up and uh, we'll resume this in a couple of days. So I guess we'll we'll pick this up in a couple of days. I'll clean this up, do that off cam. You guys didn't really need to see that. Um, and then obviously tackle on the other side and tackle from the top work our way down. But thank you, as always, thank you so much for joining us. See you in the next one. Peace. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the f*** are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're dreaming